Welcome everyone, Michael here from Tackle Tactics with a few baby ducks cruising. No, seriously, I um, want to talk to you about what I use for mangrove jack fishing lately. Basically what I use is a straight up bait cast outfit for most of my mangrove jack fishing that I like to do around southeast Queensland. So basically it's the Komodo rod which I've just purchased, 6 to 8 kilo Komodo with the Komodo KDS 276 I think it is. Beautiful outfit, beautiful rod and reel. I'm not going to say any more about that one just yet but basically what I load that with is 20 20 pound platypus bionic braid times eight and then I tie it on my leader is the part armor supple leader 30 pound that's connected with I use probably different to a few other people but I, I use the Alberto knot which is still quite a slim knot probably not as slim as an FG but a bit less complicated to tie so that's my supple leader I like to use this type of leader it's soft and it allows that soft plastic to have to have plenty of action so it's not a rigid hard sort of leader it's quite a soft nice leader and it gives that plastic plenty of movement going back down onto the jig head now these are pretty impressive I love these jig heads these big eyes are a breakthrough I reckon that big eye there that's a strike tr trigger for most fish most bait fish you look at they have a huge huge eye and that that there is the strike trigger so I've been waiting a long time for someone to bring out a jig head or even a lure with a big eye like that so thumbs up to tackle tactics for doing that that's a brilliant brilliant jig head some of them have a glow eye you can get one with a glow eye you can get one that hasn't but I prefer the glow eye just you know adds a little bit of something those jig heads are beautiful they're nice and slim they give plenty of action to the lure the lure can wobble its way through the water and all those jig heads are built on a stout stout black nickel mustard hook that's a 3.0 and a 3.8 is what I use I tie the jig head on always with a loop knot so it allows the um, paddle tail to work as much as it likes through the water it takes no action out of the lure whatsoever in southeast Queensland most of Australia lately we've had a lot of rain it's dirtied up the water and the Bloody Mary right here I reckon is a go-to colour for the dirty water. Low light conditions, dirty water, excellent lure for mangrove jack. And also another thing about this colour in particular, the Bloody Mary, it looks like a juvenile mangrove jack, the same sort of colours run through there. And that's another strike trigger for me, you get a little mangrove jack trying to muscle its way into a snag and the bigger jack will hit it and that's your reaction strike. The bigger jack doesn't want anyone taking it over its, its top priority, its top place on the structure, so it's going to hit that just out of pure aggression. Um, before the rain started, I was having a lot of success with the, the beer run colour. Same setup with the big eyes. Beer run to me looks like a imitation, imitation of a whiting, a beautiful replica of a little whiting. And as we all know, mangrove jack love whiting. So that's basically what I use for my mangrove jack fishing. I don't really alter too far away from that. It's pretty standard sort of stuff. In the dirty water, always add a bit of scent. It's going to help whether the water is dirt, uh, dirty or clear, but more so in the dirty water. So throw that stuff on. All right, that's about it. I'll talk, take you through the retrieve later on, but that's pretty much my standard mangrove jack tackle. Let's go get a few. So when I'm casting this lure, I'm throwing it right up tight against the rocks, as tight as I can get. And I'm just really doing a slow retrieve back with these Z-mans. Just a really slow wind back. Especially when the water's dirty, like this in southeast Queensland, I tend to slow the retrieve right down. I'm just crawling that reel over, just slowly winding it over. Not jerking, not doing anything like that, I'm just slow winding. That paddle tail 
that'll go crazy on the slightest bit of action. As soon as you start winding, that pedal tail's moving. When you're chasing these jacks, you have to throw it right up into the rocks, basically. Let it sit there for a sec and just slow wind it back out to the rocks. It's about three meters deep here. So I'm just letting that hit the rocks and I'm slowly winding it down the curvature of the embankment. And you think, sometimes you'd think, you're throwing it right up on the rocks there, it's gonna get snagged. Yes, well it is, and you have to be in the snags if you wanna catch a mangrove jack. But the beauty of, of the Z-Man is because it's buoyant, the 10 times tougher Laztec, the plastic actually hits and sits up upright on the rocks like that. So the point of the hook is a lot of the time just sitting up on top of the rocks. And if you do get a little, little hook up, don't go yanking and pulling on it. Just ping the line, ping your line, and it'll pop the lure off the rocks and then you can continue your retrieve. And that's basically all I do. I don't, there's no magic or science to it. It's just a basic throw and wind, really, you know. Oh well, there you go. That's basically it. Check you later. one. 